Hello, this is Bobby at Coppel TV Repair with a video today for a customer who has sent a main board for Visio XVT 3D 447 or for, let me see, where will that be? Here on this number. So yeah, this is the 3647. So this is XVT 3D <coughs> 474 SV and uh, we serviced that board recently apparently on uh, September 26th and we sent it and I believe customer said that it wasn't working and uh, he sent it back they have I believe a sticker somewhere here on the back this sticker is very loose and it could have been moved I mean supposedly someone on our end somebody who is trying to prove that the board is working could move it to any other board so instead I am focusing on this and this is fairly unique and this is how customer will know I don't know if this is their signature or somebody else's random signature <clears throat> whichever one it is uh, it will be easier I just turned it on and this is with our Ticon you can see the visual logo uh, don't pay attention that it is upside down this is because of the tick on that we're using let me press the menu that should be the menu there and again I'm doing it slowly so that you can see this is the main board with the signature that was serviced on the 26th of September this is the customer stick on uh, I'm gonna put on pause now so that I don't have to uh, mount it with one head even though in other videos I have done that let me see if there will be something that is fairly unique here yeah this mark again this is the board with the sticker focus on this mark I'm gonna pause the video mount it up here and get back and see what does it do uh, when we have the other tick on okay here we are back again uh, with the customer's Ticon installed our Ticon originally is in the back uh, separated this is the new one this is the unique marking that you should have remembered or uh, <coughs> roll back and compare same connection starting it coming wide let's see what we have here nothing it flashed for a second and it's actually remaining dark the TV is on but I do not see backlight coming up at all uh, that could be because of a bad cable connection as well let me see it would have been here um, we do it so many times that it's always possible that uh, it wasn't properly inserted or some of the pins that are on the back could have been rolled back so what I'm gonna do is take it out look at the pins on the back see whether they're they're worn out but they're straight let me put it somewhere flat so that the out, out of focus doesn't screw yeah they're apparently used a lot but there is no any single one that is bent sideways backwards so let's try it again inserting Closing. And we'll have to wait again for the whole thing to start. Just start it. So initializing should begin shortly here. Start flashing. Okay, it started flashing. So it will be another 30 seconds or so. Uh, going for another try. Those do not matter. If they're improperly inserted, the backlight should still come up. Uh, or if the pins are screwed up uh, the image could be screwed but uh, at least I don't remember and don't think there is a case uh, maybe the power pins are separated enough from many others so that if this shorts it still doesn't affect the tick on starting okay it finished initializing so again starting up and checking what's on the front 
it still didn't start the backlight. To me, this is very clearly a uh, bad tick on board. So uh, we're gonna take it apart, see what we can do for it, and get back. Again, this video was only to prove that the main board that was sent to here is functioning. Oddly enough, I saw the backlights flash once uh, the first time, but it is what it is. Uh, everything so far points to here. That's all, and thank you very much.